Hey guys, what's up? I'm Just from OB Baseball Blogs, and guys, we are continuing our countdown, our Phenoms countdown to top 50 prospects in baseball right now. Uh, this current season, pretty much, uh, we are down to our number 48 player of baseball. So, who is our number 48 countdown? If you are a Cleveland Indians fan, you pretty much heard this guy. This guy is a really, really, really great player. His name is Lonnie Chisenhall. This man is a beast at what he does in baseball. He uh, he was rated as a number 31 and number 25 prospect. He was number rated number 31 in Baseball America in 2010 as the number 31 prospect. And in 2011, he was rated number 25 in Baseball America. This guy is by far a beast of a player when it comes down to this. Um, I got some... Mm, scouting report on him not a whole lot um he's a really great great third baseman he really knows what to do um uh, but here is what i have uh, he's a smooth infielder he can he's not that great of a runner on the base path um he's a good he's a decent he he's a decent base runner not that good of a base runner though um uh, but other than that this the team is going to concentrate more on how well he plays his defense. His third base position, this is where this guy really plays baseball. He's not a power hitter, he's an average hitter. He's not one of those guys who will hit you 13, 14, maybe 20 home runs a season. Ch Chisholm Hall will be starting the season down in the minors as the third baseman role. I don't know who is the third baseman for Cleveland right now. Um, the Chisholm Hall is down in the minor leagues right now. I think it's Drew Pomeranz. I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't really watch the Indians, but they're going off to a great start in their 2011 campaign. Um, the team really has to concentrate on this dude's infield and his how well he can uh, produce great defense. Um, here's some one, some background information on him. Um, he was coming out of a community college. He was drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates in the 11th round of the 2006. MLB amateur draft. Um, after that, he went to a actual college, and then he decided to get drafted again. And he was drafted by the Cleveland Indians in the first round. Uh, he was 29th overall in 2008 by the Indians. Um, this team is really gonna. This this he's gonna bring a lot of great things to this future of the Cleveland Indians squad. The Indians are down to young young players right now. I mean, Drew Pomeranz. They have Carlos Santana. Guys like that, I mean, Carlos Santana is a monster. They have a great minor league system with Chisholm Hall. I think Pomeranz is down in the minor leagues. I think he's playing in the big leagues right now. I don't know for sure. I don't know much about the Cleveland Indians. But um, this team really has to concentrate. This is not the guy, the power hitter, you're going to get out of him. The power hitter on that team is most likely going to be from maybe Carlos Santana or... I don't know who is on their team that's a really great power hitter. Maybe Shin Chu Chu. You also have Grady Sizemore. But this is a guy you really want to look forward to to bringing up in the majors within the within the years to come. I mean, Shizen Hall is just that guy. When he did that, get that call, he will most likely make his de MLB debut if the Indians don't play very good baseball near the end of the season. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that the Indians will win their division. No, that's not going to happen. They're going to come in maybe fourth place, maybe in last place. Um, but I don't see them winning their division. I mean, a great start. Everybody has a great start in the beginning. But when it comes down to near the end of the season, a lot of teams just fall out of range. But if this team could really do something, I mean, Paul, uh, Chisholm Hall could have a great chance of making this squad this year. Um, he played double-A ball at... at Acron Arrows. He played it in 09 and 2010. He's now playing Triple A ball, or he's down back down in Double A ball. But he's out of Pitt Community College. He's a really, really great defensive player. That is what this team really needs to concentrate on. Um, other than that, I will compare this guy to Jose Lopez of the Colorado Rockies. This guy has can play great defense. This guy's coming from the Seattle Mariners. Seen him play a couple times in the Mariners organization. Jose Lopez is a great defensive uh, infielder. He can make great double plays. He can. He's not that home run hitter. He can hit maybe 10, maybe 11 home runs a, a year. Chisholm Hall has all the power to do that, but he does not have any major league experience to see on how well Chisholm Hall can actually hit. 
So at number 48, we have Lonnie Chisenhall of the Cleveland Indians. Will this guy make the majors this year? Will the Indians continue their hot streak? Well, we'll find out this season. I'm Justin. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy baseball this week, and have a great day.